Hey there everybody, it's Mecha Draco coming to you with another video. And in today's video, we're going to talk about Irma. Specifically, what we want to talk about is I just want to sort of give out my, my hopes and my prayers to everyone down there in Florida, everyone who's still there, everyone who's gotten out, and everyone who's still trying to get out. It's a really rough road trying to get out, and I know that it's been rough for everybody down there, and I know it's still a rough road ahead of us, and... I know a lot of you guys who have gotten out will probably be going home to nothing. And I really, really, you know, feel for you guys. And I really hope that there's something that this video itself can maybe bring you guys at least a little bit of the warmth in your heart or something along those lines. I am going to be posting in the description below uh, some kind of charity that goes towards individuals who are victims of hurricanes to assist in trying to assist those who have been damaged by Hurricane Harvey, Hurricane Irma, and of course the following hurricane that's coming up behind Irma. And let's just hope that everyone stays safe, okay? Now, with that being said, I do want to talk a little bit about the hurricane itself. And I want to talk more specifically about all the different things that are going on with the hurricane and some of the reasonings people have of why the hurricane is happening the way they happen and everything else along those lines and i will say that for for the most part anyways this is hurricane season when the weather starts switching between hot and cold hurricanes start happening it's just one of those things that happens it's the same thing with tornadoes it's the same thing with everything like that a lot of these really heavy weather patterns like this do happen because of just the shift between hot and cold and a lot of people are just sort of throwing the idea that a huge amount of the problem and a huge amount of reason as to why Hurricane Irma is the way it is is because of climate change. Now, I don't think that that's necessarily untrue. I think that climate change probably does have a factor into why Hurricane Irma, Hurricane Harvey, and everything else were so devastating. However, the fact of the matter is is that every hurricane's devastating. I don't think we really need to be throwing out the idea that oh it's all it's all climate change's fault that a hurricane happened okay look hurricanes happen period they happen all the time now when a hurricane happens in the middle of december that's when you really start to be wondering about climate change now with all of that being said I don't really know, obviously, the causes of hurricanes. I know that I watched a couple of videos on it, and supposedly the main reasoning that most people have as to why the hurricanes are beginning more and more severe is because the just overall temperature of the water has slowly but surely increased. Um, so has the actual total height of the water. Like, I believe the total depth of the water has increased by 9 inches, and they said that's by over the course of like 100 years. Now, I will say over the course of the last hundred years, we have done a lot in development of industry and other things like that. So I could see how industry and other things like that could be affecting climate change. And I don't necessarily disagree to say that that's not the case. I actually do think that there is probably some kind of factor being played. The issue that I have with climate change is that I think that it's more nuanced than just just... Um, industry. I mean, there are elements who say that natural climate change is something that just occurs. And there is a lot of evidence to prove that it can happen and naturally as well. But I will admit to say that I think that that's also not something that we are... I think that we might be infecting it in a little bit more ways than one. You know what I mean? And I just think that there needs to be a, f a way to find exactly what it is that's causing it and then fixing it. Of course, there's so many other issues in the world that climate change might not be the thing that we need to concern ourselves with. Maybe climate change is one of those things that we can sort of put on the back burner while we fix other problems. But I don't know. I mean, the fact is, is Mother Nature is one of the biggest problems that we've had and, and one of the biggest issues that we've always had and we will always have when it comes to dealing with the world. The fact of the matter is, is that Mother Nature is one of those things that 
we have to be concerned about. It's something that we will always be concerned about. And the fact of the matter is, is that eventually, at some point, we will probably want to fix some of those problems, especially when Mother Nature is going haywire. Now, I don't know what we should be doing about everything that's happening with Hurricane Irma, Hurricane Harvey, Hurricane Jose, I think, is next. But I think for the long in the long run, we need to work, come together. We need to put aside differences. We need to put aside politics and just understand that there are people in need that need help. And that's what we need to do. Help. And maybe that's something that we need to be more concerned about sometimes than global warming or climate change or whether or not someone's going to nuke somebody or not, you know? we got to worry about what's actually happening in the world instead of worrying what's going to happen. But anyways, that's where I'm going to leave it there. Again, my hopes and my prayers go out to everybody there. Everybody who got out, everybody who's still trying to get out, and everybody who's still down there. I hope you guys stay safe. I hope everybody stays safe. And I really hope everybody can send and do what they can to help. If you like this video, you guys know the drill by now. Go on and hit that like button. If you really liked it, go on and hit that share button. If you loved it and you haven't already, please go on and hit that subscribe button. And of course, as always, guys, good luck out there. And don't forget to have fun.